Today, I'm doing one of my favorite videos that I get to record. So today, I'm actually doing a mail day video of mystery boxes, mystery packages sent to me from you, the viewers, the subscribers, the followers, the supporters. So I really appreciate everybody in the past, present, and future who send me stuff. Um, it's much appreciated. Sometimes I've sent some very cool stuff. People sometimes send me stuff because I collect autographs. They send me personal letters, t-shirts, some pretty cool stuff. I really appreciate everybody who sends me things. And I get asked this at least once a day. Where can I send you a package at? Or if it's a company, they ask, hey, where can we send you like a sample at? In all my videos, in the description box of the video, there is my UPS store mailbox. You can send anything that you want. And I'll open up on YouTube in a future mail day video. Too easy, right? Yeah, let's do this. Um, this one actually really intrigues me. I'm going to do this one first. It feels like there's nothing in it, but there has to be. <laughs> but uh, this, I don't want to say the full person's name yet until I know it's okay. Because some people kind of want their privacy. But this is from Wesley, okay? Let's see what is in this. I'm very curious what is in this big old mailer. Is there a letter? Yep, there is a letter. Do a letter first. Read first. Open on your YouTube. Okay. Letter. It says, hi, you can say my name. Okay, his name is Wesley Gritmacher, looks like. I am sending this to you from the wrestling club I'm a part of. I help set up and take it down. Hope you love it. It is some of the wrestlers from the club who signed it. Just starting out with my channel and don't have a whole lot of money to do it very often. And I am unboxing things like mystery boxes and so far. And hope to unbox other things like fireworks, electronics, clothing. His YouTube is Wes123. I'll make sure and down below have that direct link. It says your friend Wesley Gritmacher. Love your channel and keep up the good work. Let's see what he sent. Okay. Oh, okay, that's awesome. I am an autograph collector. Yeah, that is super cool. So we have Zero One USA Live Pro Wrestling Show 10th anniversary signed by a whole bunch of wrestlers. Fun fact, for years and years, like especially when I was a child, when I went to the small independent wrestling shows, I always got stuff signed by the wrestlers. And some of them became big stars. I say probably the biggest one that I met when I was a kid, who back then was pretty much a no-name, was Jeff Jarrett. I met him back one of his first matches when he was in the USWA. He came to Corden, Indiana, and he signed a little 5 by 7 Actually, you... You paid like five bucks for the five by seven photograph of him, and then he would sign it for five bucks. But I actually do have an, a very old, I probably got that 30 years ago in that time frame. But Jeff, whenever Jeff Jarrett, before he even joined uh, WWF back in the day. But yeah, I appreciate this, Wesley. This is very awesome. This will go into my autograph collection. I rambled on quite a bit with that one. I'll try to keep the rambling a little bit. Maybe less than that, but I always like telling stories and stuff that uh, it's always kind of me opening this up carefully. It's kind of soft. I don't want to cut anything. It's always kind of fun when you collect stuff and then in the future you find out that what you collected is even better than what you thought it was. We have like a bag in a bag. There's something in this. Oh no, it's just <laughs> like. The uh, bubble wrap package bag in a bag. Oh, there, there's a note. You can say my name on video. I saw these were Mattel and Brandon. I thought they might be cool for you to have. I hope you like them. Dora. And it's Dora Warden. All the way from the West Coast. So, Dora Warden, what did you send me? Oh, nice. Awesome. She got me the little figurines. We're back into the wrestling theme again. We got freaking AJ Styles, one of the, honestly, one of the best wrestlers on the planet right now. And, of course, one of my favorites of all time, probably my favorites of all time, is um, Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold, and The Rock. 
awesome freaking the rock we also got the undertaker the icon the dead man and last we've got freaking braun Strowman. nice so dory yeah i appreciate this yeah i do not have these these will go into my collection thank you so much that's awesome back-to-back -back wrestling packages this time we're going to do a box so i don't want actually i think I'll just say his first name for now. Jeff, I think he has sent me stuff before. I think he has. Pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure he has, actually. The name sounds very familiar. I think he sent me stuff in the past. But yeah, so, so the first two packages have been freaking awesome. Both of them are of stuff that I actually collect. Autographs and wrestling. And little uh, collectible figurines. Little... Like, you know, big boy toys. I'm trying to carefully open this. Don't know what's... Okay, we have a note right here on top. Bam. It says, Dear Clint Miller, you might remember me. I do. I do. I, I, I remembered your actual name. Because I was the one that sent a Funko Pop figures of Happy Gilmore, of Chubbs Happy Gilmore. Plus, I was the one that made a set of cloth coasters for you. Yes, I do. I do remember that. I couldn't find any bubblegum great, but I think I found something else that is great for you, and that is, well, you have to find out for yourself, LOL. I have some other stuff for you two waiting in this box, so enjoy. Jeff Rinks. So, Jeff, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I do remember you. When I saw the name on the packs, I'm like, I know Jeff Rinks. Okay, what did you send me? First, oh, sweet. Oh, no way. We got Back to the Future little miniature cars like back when i was a kid remember or i should say if, if you remember back in the 80s and the 90s we had the micro machines i i should say i collected them i played with those back when i was a small kid the micro machine this is like a micro machine you got the time machine from back to future part one part two and part three that's super cool i like that okay first one. Oh, we got some more pops in there too nice number two huh <laughs> We have Grape Jolly Ranchers. But yeah, I do. I love, like, my, my favorite bubble gum is grape flavored. Oh, it has been grape flavored. But yeah, awesome. Thank you. Jolly Ranchers. And then we've got two Funko Pops. I kind of, I kind of peaked. First one. Oh, nice. We got Ski Harry Dunn from Dumb and Dumber. Probably one of the top 10 favorite movies of all time is Dumb and Dumber. With Jim Carrey and, um, oh, I always forget his name. Was it Jeff Gold, Goldblum or something, something like that? I think I'm off on that. But yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Actually, I uh, I held back a figure of his um, to hopefully get signed someday. Honestly, I, I held back one of Jim Carrey too, but Jim Carrey has never done a private signing, ever. <laughs> We've got... The Ski Lloyd Christmas. So that's awesome. The Harry Dunn and Lloyd Christmas. The Dumb and Dumber set from the exclusive Walmart. I appreciate that. Actually, I hold both these back also because I I really want a Jim Carrey signed pop. Hopefully he does a private signing someday. And if he does, I'll probably send in two or three pops to get signed. Same as, um, is it Jeff Goldblum? Does that sound right? Does that sound right? But then it does sound right. But yeah, I appreciate you, Jeff. Jeff Rinks, huge shout out once again. Thanks for the care package. It was awesome. More collectibles than I like. Okay, ready for the last package of this video? Okay, this is from Christopher. I won't say his full name until I know it's okay. If he wants his name said on camera, like his full name. So Christopher, let's see, looks like here is a letter. says, hey Clint, I discovered your channel about three months ago and it has become daily viewing for me. Your insight on the pop world has been incredibly useful to get me started with collecting. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for that. I know that you're a horror guy. Yes, I am. I love my horror movies. So it's actually my favorite genre, then it's comedy. So I thought you might enjoy my first book. It's, oh, you sent me a book. It's full of delightful little terror tales guaranteed to send shivers down your spine. I hope you enjoy and keep up the great work on your channels. Cr er, I guess Chris Pelton. So Chris Pelton. That's just to keep it from getting damaged. Let's 
Christopher Pelton, a toe in the water. I will definitely check this out. I'm a huge fan of the horror genre and horror stories. I will definitely check this out. So it says, A Tone of Water by Christopher Pelton, edited by Michelle Pelton, probably his wife, I'm guessing. I will definitely check this out. I appreciate this. I'll try to find your book on Amazon or wherever I can find a link to it. I'll make sure and put a link in the description box for this video. But yeah, A Toe in the Water. Actually, I'll read the back of the book. I'd like to ask you for three minutes of your time, 180 seconds for me to take you on a quick trip into one of the strangest, stranger places that exist in my mind. Haunted items, man's best friend, messages from beyond. Whatever your pleasure, I'm sure we've got a place for you. A Toe in the Water consists of 20 short tales of the strange and unusual. Each story comes in around a thousand words, making it perfect for filling a few minutes of your day. So come on in, the water's fine. Of course, you don't have to take my word for it. Feel free to test it yourself. I like it. It says, Christopher Pelton lives in Bridgeport, Connecticut with his delightful wife, Michelle, and two of the strangest cats you'll ever meet. Be sure to follow on Tumblr at Crazy People Lucky Charms for publishing updates and more. So actually, on Tumblr, Crazy People Lucky Charms, all one word. So I appreciate you, man. I will definitely check out your book. Perfect. So yeah, that is what we got today. Mystery packages, boxes sent to me from you, the viewers, the subscribers, and everything today was freaking awesome. Everything is stuff that I actually collect, stuff that I'm that that I collect and keep, you know. So everybody in the past, the present and future that sends me stuff, thank you so much. I appreciate you. That is so nice of you, so kind of you. And for anybody else who wants to send anything, like I said earlier, in the description box of the video will be my UPS mailbox. You can send me whatever you want. And I'll open up on YouTube, you know, a book, an autograph, figurines, or if you just want to send me a letter, that's totally fine too. You know, if you need to vent to me about something, vent away. I will read your letter. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.